morning everyone, hope everyone's alright today. So for spelling today, same learning intention, I'm learning about spelling rules and patterns and the spelling rule and pattern that we're going to be thinking about today is the J sound. Hopefully by the end of this lesson we will realise that there are four different ways of making the J sound and we'll have a better understanding of how we can use these sounds. So the first activity that I would like you to think about, I've got the four ways of spelling the J sound up on the screen just now. Soft G, D, G, E, G, E and J on its own, J on its own at the end. So what I would like you to do is have a wee think what words would fit those rules. I've given you some examples. So my first one for soft G is the word dangerous. My first example for the D, G, E is hedge. For G, E I have put percentage and for J on its own I have got juicy. So first activity, pause the video here, see if you can think of maybe at least five or six words for each of these categories um, of how we spell the J sound. Some might be trickier than others. I would recommend for um, the DGE one maybe thinking of words that rhyme with hedge or are similar to hedge, that might be a, a good way to start. See how you get on, come back and we'll have a wee look at examples together. Awesome guys, so let's have a look at the examples I have got. Yours will be probably different to mine, um, but it's okay if you want to add some of my examples to your list, that's absolutely fine. Or it might um, spark your thoughts about different words you might not have thought of before. So for soft G, I have got dangerous, giraffe, energy, gentle, gymnastics and giant. For the second rule, the DGE, hedge, badge, judge, nudge, smudge and wedges. For GE, percentage, orange, language, shortage, stranger, exchange and challenge. And for J on its own, juicy, jacuzzi, object, subject, justice, jammed and pyjamas. So those are my examples. Yours might be slightly different but do feel free, as I said, to add any of mine in to your word list there. So before we have a look at our spelling list for this week, there is one rule that I would like to just quickly go over. If you hear the word, the sound J at the end of a word, the spelling is either going to be the GE or the DGE spelling rule. In English, we don't use J at the end of a word, so it's going to be one of those two spelling uh, rules. For example, carriage, it's got the GE at the end. Disadvantage again has GE at the end and acknowledge has DGE at the end. So if you do hear that sound at the end it is going to be one of those two spelling rules so that's always useful to bear in mind. Word list for this week again you can choose if you tackle cool, mild or spicy. For cool we've got gym, juicy, object, subject, danger, giant, stranger and fudge. Mild we have justice, challenge, language, dangerous, energy, badge, fudge, wedgies and stranger. And for spicy, disadvantage, acknowledge, shortage, percentage, challenge, language, orphanage and carriage. I would also like if you are tackling spicy to pick at least two other words, either from my word list um, that we had in the past activity or from your word list that you have come up with. So if you're doing spicy, pick two other words. Tasks for this morning, guys. Copy your words three times. Diacritical marking once and use each word in a sentence. Diacritical marking, let's have a quick wee reminder of that. If I had the word shortage, I'm thinking about the sounds in the word shortage. So I've got sh at the start, so I underline that because it is the two letters that make the sh sound. O, R, T, A are sounds on their own, so they just get a dot, and then the J sound at the end is the line underneath it. For subject, each of those different letters makes its own sound, so I am going to have a dot for each individual sound. Have fun doing your task, guys. Post a picture on Teams once you're done, and I'll have a look at it later. Talk to you soon. Bye.